morning, everybody. Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com, and this is your new shot. Daily Mail says Elon Musk gives us a 5 to 10% chance of preventing killer robots from destroying humanity. I don't know. I think he's fluffing the numbers. I'll be honest with you. I don't, I personally don't have a lot of hope and faith that humanity is capable of, do, as a matter of fact, I would wager to say that we're pawns in this and that there are other forces that humans, for some strange reason, refuse to recognize that are playing with us almost as if we're pawns on a chessboard. And here we are playing out this thing where artificial intelligence is going to totally change the way that we see life on this planet play out. I mean, unbelievable changes. Elon Musk, it says, has been very vocal about his concerns over artificial intelligence, and now the Tesla CEO has quantified his worries. In a recent talk, Musk claims that efforts to make AI safe only have a 5 to 10% chance of success. The warning comes shortly after Musk claimed that regulation of artificial intelligence was drastically needed because it's a fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization. Let me stop there. I think even if you regulate it, name one program that just our government here in America has run and run effectively and run well. Maybe the U.S. nuclear program? Uh, how many accidents have taken place uh, that could have been catastrophic or devastating? You know? Um, look at our nuclear power plants. You know, how safe are they? How many of them are leaking? How many of them are built on a fault line? What kind of regulatory body said it's okay to build a nuclear power plant on a fault line, right? And we're here saying that, yes, what we need is regulation because, uh, yeah, the government can do it. No, they can't. Everything that government does, first of all, does by force. And second of all, they run it into the ground. It's a total and complete failure. Everything they do, these people that know what's best for us. So I disagree. I don't think that we can regulate it, especially not the government of all entities, not the government. As a matter of fact, it's because of the government. It's because of the DARPAs. It's because of the CIAs and the NSAs and the MI6s and all these clandestine agencies and all of these um, control freaks out there, the multi-billionaires that are doing this secret research behind the scenes that, that are going to destroy humanity. It's not you and me. Oh, all we want to do is live and let live, right? For the most part, that's, that's what we try to do, human beings. You know, uh, some think that they know what's best for others. And for those, all I have to say is no. And because of this, I don't think this ends in any way in our favor. No way at all. Musk was giving a talk to employees at one of his companies, Neuralink. Now, Neuralink is working on a way to implant technology in our brain to create mind-computer interfaces. Okay? He didn't hold back. Elon Musk on his predictions about making AI safe, saying there was maybe a 5 to 10% chance of success. Musk added that em the employees should sleep well after his warning, but the CEO then ate a piece of popcorn before coughing and added, we're talking about threats to humanity, and I'm going to choke to death on popcorn. Yeah. His latest claim follows a warning he made in July that regulation of artificial intelligence is needed because of the fundamental risk to the existence of of human civilization. The billionaire said regulation will stop humanity from being outsmarted by computers or deep intelligence in the network that can start wars by manipulating information. Now, Neuralink is looking to create this brain interface, machine interface, by something that's called neural lace. Neural lace is a nanotechnology that would then cause like a, a lace to form. You'd inhale it, it'd be injected, it would cause a, like a web to form over your, your brain, an AI web. And then you would be connected. You would be a node, if you will, 
with the AI. And to me, that's just not going to, that's not good. Within four years, Musk says, that neural lace will be able to help people with disabilities overcome disabilities, which is okay. We can see that that would be beneficial if we could do away with paraplegics, maybe make people walk again that were paralyzed. Um, People that have things like epilepsy, uh, Parkinson's, uh, these diseases, uh, uh, Alzheimer's. If there's a way to circumvent that, great. Think about how we could streamline the learning process. Think about how language barriers could fall instantly if uh, all of a sudden you had the capability to translate instantly any language or speak in any language. You know, these things are, that would be pretty cool. And if you want to call that an evolution of humanity, then so be it. But there's a serious downside to it too. A, I mean, you've got a window into your brain, not to mention what's being uploaded and downloaded into it at the same time. What kind of malware? What kind of um, cookies, if you will? You know, what are we doing when we do that? So, it does have to be very carefully implemented. And once you start looking at all the things that can be done with this technology, I mean, honestly, ask yourself, how does humanity responsibly implement this stuff and not screw it up? The, I mean, you're talking about this has the capability of changing every aspect of life as we know it down to our very existence as humans. So I totally get what Elon Musk is saying and people should be very prepared that this type of technology be implemented within the next decade and that sweeping changes are going to be made. And when that happens, folks, brace yourself. Really, truly brace yourself because God only knows what kind of side effects and consequences all this is going to have. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Hashtag wake the flock up. Have a great day, everybody.